Have you ever ordered something you enjoyed so much at a restaurant that you tried making it yourself at home? Well, I have. And although I never quite succeeded in replicating David Chang's ginger scallion noodles from Momofuku Noodle Bar, I'm delighted to share highlights of his autobiography with you today. Welcome to Audiobook Reviews in 5. This is Yana, also known as Jana, and today I'm reviewing Eat a Peach, written by David Chang and Gabe Ula, and read by David Chang. I don't make a habit of listening to chef autobiographies, but I've been fascinated by David Chang's influence on food trends for some time. He's famous for his irreverent attitude toward culinary traditions and for founding the Momofuku Restaurant Group, in addition to starring on the Netflix series Ugly Delicious. In Eat a Peach, Chang strips back his celebrity chef status for an unflinching account of his religious upbringing, his struggles with suicidal thoughts, depression, and anxiety, and his fraught experience growing up Korean in the United States and struggling with internalized racism. Chang obviously delights in being provocative. He admits he is a Twinkie, as in looking Asian on the outside and feeling white on the inside. And he also struggles with a highly charged and reactive temper, which seems rooted in his childhood relationships and his taking everything extremely personally. This quality is borderline irritating to listen to after a while, except... Chang is self-aware enough to own up to some pretty cringeworthy behavior, like screaming at subordinates and generally coming across as an entitled brat in various situations at all ages. He's even been told by multiple experts that his success is especially shocking given how many people admit to hating working with him. It seems his success actually has more to do with luck and his relentless and even ruthless habit of overturning his beliefs and assumptions about food, success, and what matters most in his life, while he constantly strives to innovate and become better at life in general. Chang outlines 33 rules for being a chef, which are broadly applicable to most people interested in succeeding in business. But I chuckled when he encouraged aspiring chefs to attempt to replicate and even improve their favorite recipes from other chefs, noting that adding cheese to something does not make it yours. He's also brutally honest about the ever-increasing challenges to succeeding in the restaurant industry, adding that, quote, being a chef is one of the dumbest professions you can possibly enter. It's also the best job in the world, unquote. This audiobook is nine hours long, and yet I listen to it twice in a week, in spite of Chang's bro moments, celebrity name dropping, and the well-worn frat boy pop culture references. Perhaps it's because Chang is so good at shedding light on his ongoing struggle for self-awareness and accountability, which is something that nearly everyone can benefit from. It would be even more interesting to see where Chang lands in 10 years, given that he's a parent now and seems earnestly dedicated to not repeating his past mistakes. While I hope never to work with anyone quite like Chang at his worst, a big part of his appeal is his completely uninhibited fascination and his love for all types of culinary traditions and origins. He admits that Peking duck is on his short list of foods worth traveling for, but he's not afraid to get poetic about Chick-fil-A sandwiches, while being quick to point out that he disagrees with their controversial stance on LGBTQ rights. Chang knows and loves food on a whole other level. His enthusiasm for ingredients, technique, and eating, it's contagious. This definitely isn't an escapist jaunt through fancy kitchens of the world, and it's clear that some readers and listeners don't appreciate that. But it's the very reason I believe this title is worth checking out. (music) 
That's all for this episode of Audiobook Reviews in 5. Thanks for listening. If you've not yet done so, please subscribe to Audiobook Reviews in 5 on your favorite platform. By subscribing, you help increase the profile of this podcast and the chances of other listeners like you finding it. I look forward to checking in with you all again soon. Please stay safe and be well.